So in today's video, we're going to paint these simple, vibrant coral illustrations. Each one would make a unique print by itself, but you can also combine them into collages. So the watercolor effect here is mostly coming from the rough Himalaya paper texture. And I'm also going to be using the brushes in the regular watercolor kit. So to start, I recommend using the new Aurora Quill brush. And I'm going to use a purple tone like this. And at a pretty large size, uh, I usually like to rough out some of the larger coral fingers first. After that, I'm going to shrink the brush size and then add in some of the smaller fingers. Now each coral is going to be different depending on what variety you want to paint. And also you're going to find your own style eventually, but I found that I really like it when some of the coral fingers overlap. Uh, it's easy to paint everything so it kind of interlocks together, but this way it looks more natural to me. Next, I want to adjust the overall color tone, and I'm going to do that with the hue, saturation, and brightness. And I'm just going to play with some of these settings and try to find a better color. There we go. And the next step here is definitely optional, but I want to shift the color of some of these branches. And I'm going to do that with this selection tool set to freehand. And I'm just going to select some random areas like this. There we go. I'm going to feather out those selections to kind of soften the edge. Then again, I'll go to hue, saturation, and brightness. And I can just shift the brightness and hue of those areas and drop in an interesting secondary tone. There we go. That looks pretty good. And up until now, I've got a lot of overlapping brush strokes. And in my opinion, this looks a little bit too much like marker. So to fix that, I'm going to change to the water blender brush, the very bottom here. And I'm going to blend and break up all of these hard edges. And there we go. That looks a lot smoother. Next, I want to add some dark areas and lighter areas, just using a similar process we did to get these different variations of color. So for that, I'm going to use the selection tool again set to freehand. And I'll just circle a couple of random areas. Then I can feather all of those selections out at the same time. Then again, hue, saturation, and brightness. But this time, I'm just going to brighten those areas and then slightly desaturate them. And that's how I add some kind of variation in the highlights. Next, I want to add some variation in the shadows. So again, I'll make some random selections, but this time in different areas. I'll feather them all out. Hue, saturation, and brightness. But this time, I'll just darken them and then saturate them. Basically the opposite of what we did for the highlights. Next, I'm going to paint a different variety of coral over here. But I'm going to use the same Aurora Quill brush I used uh, for the first one. There we go. Color-wise, it's too similar, so I'm going to shift it using the hue, saturation, and brightness. There we go. Now for the color variation on this one, uh, I think I'll do something a lot more simple than the first one. So again, I'll use the freehand selection tool, and I'm just going to circle the bottom half, and then feather it out quite a bit, hue, saturation, and brightness. And I'm just going to brighten it and desaturate it so it has a kind of simple ombre fade. And just like before, I'm going to grab the water blender brush and just blend up some of these hard edges. Next, I'm going to use the selection tool again to sort of selectively lighten some of these arms. And for me, I think a simple coral could look nice if it has a light pattern on it. So for that, I'm going to make a new layer above the coral and select some kind of dark orange color. For the brush, I'm going to use the fine liner pen. And I'm just going to go over this and give this a simple line texture. And this line texture is on its own layer because I want to change the transparency mode to multiply. Then I can just set it to a point where the pattern is just barely visible. 
there we go. Then I can just uh, merge down and combine those layers just to keep everything kind of uh, simplified. Now for the last coral, I'm gonna do a big one and I'm running out of space here. So I'm gonna hide these just for now. And the new coral, of course, is gonna be on its own layer. And I'll turn this vertical so I have some more room. And then using the same techniques that I already covered and the same uh, Aurora Quill brush, I'm gonna do a very fine detailed blue coral. And of course, this was supposed to be a blue coral, but it turned out to be uh, something very different. I think that's okay. It's just part of the spontaneity and unpredictability of this technique. So hopefully that covers enough of the basics to get you started. I've already gone ahead and painted a bunch of different corals and made some arrangements. And here's a look at some of those final results. And that pretty much wraps it up. As always, if you think I've earned it, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks again for all your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.